Hey guys, what is up? In this video of shit I love about my M3, I'm gonna tell you what this thing back here does. It's a wind deflector. A lot of people ask me if it works, if it does anything. Well, I'm gonna show you because I'm about to get on the highway. And one of the things I've noticed about this wind deflector is if I'm on the highway and I get a call on my phone, uh, the Bluetooth mic seems to work okay as long as I have the wind deflector in the car. If it's not in the car, I'm screwed. You can't hear anything. Um, sometimes I have to pull over a little bit and do about 100 in the slower lane, 100 kilometers an hour for you, those of you that don't know what I'm in Canada. Um, but let's see how it works. I've got the mic situated right now. Roughly, I don't know where the mic is in this, in this car to be honest with you. You know, I looked up, but I looked it up online. Some people said it's up over here. I'm guessing this is where it should be for the coupes. But somebody else on a discussion forum said that the mic would be down around the uh, steering column. Um, so I kind of stuck the GoPro in between. Um, just sitting on a light right now. We're going to hop on the highway in about two minutes. The on ramp's just up ahead. You'll get an idea of how well sound uh, carries in the car and if you can talk to anybody uh, top down or not. Um, so I'm doing about 70 kilometers. You can probably hear me pretty clearly. Things start to change when you get on the highway and you really mash it. I'm stuck behind a turtle right now on the on-ramp so anyway. I'm gonna gun it when I get on the highway, get up to a little bit of speed, and then I'll show you what it sounds like when I kind of get it in the slower right lane and do about 100K, and then I'll flip it down so you can hear the difference, so you know what it's, uh, what it's like. One of the other things that I noticed too is, if you don't have this wind deflector, if you've got paper in your car or anything that's light, it can get sucked out of the car pretty easily. Um, if you're doing 110, 120 kilometers an hour, merged on the highway. I'm doing about the flow of traffic right now. Um, pretty good clip. I'm not going to tell you how fast I'm going. That was a speed warning. <laughs> but I'm not blowing by people at the same time, right? Like I'm going with roughly the flow of traffic. So if I pull over into the slower lane here, this is what I do when I get a phone call. I kind of just pull over in the slower lane and make sure the windows are up. Slow down to about 100. Probably gonna piss somebody off behind me, but oh well. Throw it up, throw on the cruise control at about 100, and you're good to go. And you can generally have a pretty productive conversation. You can hear them; they can typically hear you with the wind deflector. If I got rid of that thing, it'd be totally useless. Let me just give you an example. So I flip it down. You're gonna hear some buffeting. I can already feel air buffeting behind my ear right now. If I had hair see it blowing around a lot more and if I had paper in my car it would get picked up but I'm gonna roll down the window so you can hear the difference between wind deflector up and down because this is really what the car sounds like when there's no wind deflector in it. It's literally impossible to use any of the Bluetooth features. You can't hear anything as far as music goes and it's pretty annoying. So that's that's what the wind deflector does. It does make a huge difference. It's night and day. The dealer sell them for, I've seen them anywhere from 700 to 900 bucks, maybe as, as much as a thousand, depending on where you live in the world. I got mine off of eBay. It's totally worth it. Um, I got mine used for a few hundred bucks. You have a convertible, that's what those things are for. So grab one, <laughs> use them. I love it. Definitely worth it on my E93 M3. All right, talk to you guys later. If you have any questions or requests for videos, throw them in the comments below. Let me know what you think of this. I'm always reading through the comments and engaging you guys to see what's up and what I can do to make the channel better. Thanks for checking this out. I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.